caution will bring you into spoiler territory for the media displayed on screen. Timestamps are gifted in the description and comment section. Your discretion is advised. So I'm not entirely sure how I currently feel about doing content like this, but I just decided I might as well do something to give you guys content while I work on bigger videos, and those kinds of videos take me a while because I have the tendency to get a lot of writer's block and not want to be able to figure out what the fuck I want to write about, which causes me to not upload videos in months, so I guess we'll try out this whole quickie thing, see how, uh... See how I entirely feel about it? Uh, so for the first one, I'd like to talk about, uh, The Long Halloween, because I just finished watching it. I'm a little late to it, but, uh, yeah. Uh, also, none of this is scripted, so it's probably gonna be a really shit, uh, video compared to everything else, because I just, I'm really bad at, at, at videos if I'm not scripting it, and I just can't really think of a reason to script something like this. So, uh, anyways, talking about the movie, um, I liked it. To be honest, I'm not. I've, I've never read the original comic. Obviously, part two isn't out. It'll be out. Uh, I think it was summer or uh, fall of 2021 was I think where I, I heard. But the movie itself, I thought it was. I thought it was fine. I thought it was, you know, kind of an interesting, fun movie. Uh, I like the murder mystery. I like the whole detective aspect. I like how Batman is grounded in Gotham as the character, and it's not really much of an origin story. The only real origin that you're getting is of Harvey Dent, and I think it's actually done kind of interesting in here, giving him a wife who has um, pregnancy troubles. Like, their relationship is falling apart. I think that's kind of neat to watch. When it comes to the story, there's basically a murderer who's going around killing off members of the Fal Falcone family, but he only kills on the holidays. So he starts with Halloween, then goes to, I think it's Thanksgiving, then Christmas, then New Year's, and then the movie ends after that. And uh, we're kind of left on a little bit of a cliffhanger, which I was expecting, given how this is a part one. At first, when uh, Catwoman mentions that it's Thanksgiving, and then everyone's talking about it being Thanksgiving, I was a little confused, because the movie and the comic is called Long Halloween, and I thought that meant that it's supposed to be a, a really long Halloween, like all this stuff is happening on Halloween night, and it makes Batman feel like a very, like it's a very long Halloween, but... I'm guessing not, or maybe it's just another one of those cases where fucking Warner Brothers changes a bunch of the movie, but I don't think they would change it like this. I, and I, I, I looked at Letterboxd, uh, like a couple reviews, and no one really mentioned it, so I'm assuming that's part of the comic. Voice acting wise, I thought it was pretty good for the most part. Uh, the actress who plays Catwoman, I was kind of intrigued because I'm a little defensive over Catwoman, and Grey Delisle's my defensive Catwoman and all that shit. Uh, she does pretty good with the role. She's, you know, she's got that nice seductive-esque vibe, not as seductive as Grey Delisle. Um, but, you know, she, she has her, her moments, and, uh, she's got that kind of cheeky, sarcastic side that's pretty enjoyable. Troy Baker as the Joker is fucking amazing as usual. I will always defend Troy Baker as Joker. I think his Joker is really good. His Joker actually appears during the Christmas section, which I thought was kind of cool and kind of neat, and because, uh, it just reminded me of Troy Baker's debut as the Joker in Arkham Origins, which was basically... Batman solving, or Batman trying to figure out who the Joker is on Christmas Day, uh, which I thought was kind of cool. I found out partway through the movie that apparently uh, the guy who plays Charlie in the Twilight movies is voicing Commissioner Gordon, and I thought that was really funny given how Robert Pattinson is playing Batman in Batman 22. Uh, and, and the guy who plays Commissioner Gordon did pretty good. Um, I still think Brian Cranston is my, uh, my favorite voice of Gordon. And Gary Oldman is still my favorite live action, but, I mean, you know, the guy the guy who did Gordon in this movie was pretty good. Jensen Echols' as Batman was actually the one thing I was looking the most forward to, because I know him from uh, being Jason Todd slash Red Hood in Under the Red Hood, which, I, if I remember correctly, I ranked that as the second best Batman movie of all time, and I really did like Jensen Echols in that movie. Uh, him as Batman, it's pretty good. Um, his Batman voice is unique, it, it doesn't, you know, there's some times where I hear a little bit of him, you know, 
uh, getting inspired, to say the least, of Kevin Conroy's Batman, which, I mean, I don't blame him. But for the most part, it's a pretty unique Batman. He gives him more of a, more of a low-pitched voice. Uh, not as low-pitched as, like, Christian Bale or some shit. But as overall, it's fine. Uh, I wouldn't say it's entirely my favorite. Um, but it was, for the most part, pretty good. Harvey Dent... His voice actor was pretty good. Uh, one voice actor moment that I really liked was uh, the guy who voices Calendar Man. It was pretty fucking dope seeing Calendar Man in this movie because I, I love Calendar Man. The Arkham games really exposed me to a lot of different Batman characters, and Calendar Man was one of those. And Calendar Man is just fucking weird as shit, and I love it so much. Still, the perfect casting for Calendar Man, in my opinion, is Paul Giamatti. Amazing Spider-Man 2 was a bad movie, but if you go and look how he looks in that movie, he looks exactly like Calendar Man does in the Arkham games, and I would fucking love to see Paul Giamatti as Calendar Man. At least give him a cameo, but the guy who does Calendar Man in this movie, uh, pretty good. I did kind of like the creepy, uh, the, the creepy delivery he had with his voice. It kind of did uh, creep me out. <laughs> Uh, the animation style was actually pretty cool, uh, it reminded me a lot of Under the Red Hood as well, and, you know, I like the animation style in there. The only complaint I have is, uh, Joker kinda looks like shit. I'm not a big fan of the way they designed Joker, uh, all the other characters are designed pretty well. Catwoman's, Catwoman looks hot, you know. <laughs> Batman looks dope, Commissioner Gordon looks like Commissioner Gordon, Harvey Dent looks like Harvey Dent, um, Calendar Man looks fine he just kind of looks like a fat bald guy that's that's pretty much it i don't really recall him having uh tattoos like he does in uh the arkham games but i could be wrong solomon grundy's also in this movie for like a couple scenes that was kind of cool but yeah overall it was a it was a fun movie uh i again i enjoyed the murder mystery aspect to it trying to figure out who exactly it was at one point i thought it was um the guy's son that he keeps rejecting uh i i thought of that during the boat party when he was starting to give a little bit of a speech and I was like oh it's this guy and then later on they were like you know they, they had Batman think that oh it's this guy and then it wasn't uh, and I thought that was that was, that was kind of neat to be honest it, it, was, it was neat being wrong because it was just like before the movie told me I was like oh I have my I, I have my suspicions and then the movie was like your suspicions are wrong I was like, oh, goddamn, okay, I feel like, I, I feel with Batman, you know, thinking that I have this whole thing solved, but I don't. When it comes to actually who is Holiday, uh, I could find out easily. I have Google, Batman doesn't. Um, I have the original comic, Batman doesn't, but uh, I'd rather not, to be honest. I'd rather just wait until the second movie comes out and find that out on my own, or find that out, you know, through that movie. Suspicions on who Holiday is... I honestly can't think of anything. I was pretty set on uh, being the fucking rejected son, but it's not. But yeah, if you could do me a favor, if you have read the original comic, um, please don't actually spoil who Holiday is. That that would that'd be nice. Yeah, overall, it, it's not the greatest Batman movie of all time. I wouldn't really say it. Uh, the comic's probably really good. Uh, my my ranking and my rating might change when the second part comes out, and then I'll you know, probably eventually watch both the movies back to back and kind of view it as one whole movie. Granted, I, I split The Dark Knight Returns as two different movies, but I watched that back to back as well. So I might do that and then it might, you know, give this a little bit of a different feel for me and I might have a different uh, perspective and different thoughts and a different ranking and a different uh, rating for it but currently as just part one it's fine it's fun it's entertaining it's got some good moments uh joker says shit that was kind of funny i liked that yeah for the most part i'm looking forward to part two i'm pretty sure the the, the original comic is great uh it's held as one of the uh more popular batman comics and it's probably for good reason and i'll probably find out more of that when the second part comes out but you know from from the stance it's like reading the first half of the comic and then you have to kind of grade it off of that you know, just seen part one. Part one alone is pretty good. Um, currently, I would give it a 7 out of 10. That's just kind of my generic uh, basis score of just like, it's a fun movie. I liked it. Uh, like I said, might change when part two comes out. Might change when I eventually 
um, do a proper review of it because I am thinking of doing one later down the line when both parts come out and I can kind of, you know, give more of an in-depth thought. Uh, but currently, it's just a, it's a fun movie. 7 out of 10. All right. Goodbye.